Hi everybody, it's Susan Mershon, the Techie Winner. Thank you so much for stopping by for this week's video blog. And our topic today is retainers versus packages. And today is just really about different ways that you can bill your clients for the work that you do. And this is a common question that I get. Now I may have a different take on what I consider a package versus what I call a retainer because of my background. I come from a project management background and so packages are really something that's well-defined versus a retainer is just a bucket of hours that the client can use however they choose. So if you've ever hired an attorney, for instance, they work on retainer. So let's say that you buy 10 hours of their time and you can call them at any time with any questions that you have in reference to you know, legal issues or legal questions. And they subtract that amount of time that they spent talking to you about your issue or question from that bucket of hours. Well, it's the same thing for virtual assistants and retainers. And I really recommend to new virtual assistants that they work on a retainer basis. Why? Because you get paid up front for the work that you're going to do for them. Now, what this means is that you're probably going to need to track the time that you've used against that retainer because most clients, including myself, I want to know where that money is going. I want to know what you're doing for me, but I also may want to know how long it takes for you to do the work so I can better budget because let's face it, we're all on a budget. So a retainer is a bucket of hours that clients can use however they choose. There is no set thing that has to be done in the retainer. Retainers can come in any different sizes. You can have a minimum retainer of five hours or 10 hours or 20 hours. Um, I usually have a retainer of five hours minimum and then it goes up from there. And the more clients buy, the more discount they get. So I actually discount them if they buy several hours from me ahead of time. Now, one of the things with retainers is a lot of people have them expire after 30 days. I was not one of those because I have clients buy 40 hours for me at a time and I would give them three months to use that because it's a benefit to them. What happens is, is if you do retainers, this is my opinion, that expire in 30 days, clients are gonna be happy if they paid you for time that they never got to use. So it's your business, your choice. So think through when you're setting up retainers, do you want the hours to roll over to the next month or do you want them to expire? And it has to be very, very clear to your clients what your process is. Do they roll over? If they roll over, when do they expire? Mine, for instance, would roll over for 30 days, or 90 days, excuse me. So they would be good for 90 days and they would expire 90 days from the date of purchase. Your choice. I found that I had a lot more freedom and flexibility with my clients if I gave them a larger window of time. But remember, it's your business and it's your choice. Just make sure that it's very clear to your clients what your process is. And now it may be in your contract, but let's face it, who reads a contract? People just sign them. So that's why I'm an advocate of creating that business policies document and making sure that your clients understand how your retainers work. You can actually talk to them about that in your kickoff call with them when you start working together. So that's retainers. Retainers are just a bucket of hours that clients can use however they want to. There is no set um, task involved with that. Now maybe they do the same task every month, that's fine, but they could change their mind. The bottom line here is, is you're getting paid for the work up front. The client can choose what they want you to do with those hours and you track time against those hours so you can give a report to your client saying, here's what I did with the 10 hours that you paid for. Because as a business owner, I always like to know that stuff. And remember, they're not probably watching you over or over your shoulder or micromanaging you know. Um, let me say that again. <laughs> they aren't micromanaging you or watching over your shoulder. They probably just need to know where the money's going and they want to estimate better for budget. So don't think of it as being micromanaged. Think of it as doing a service for your clients. They are paying you up front. They just want to know where those hours are going. Attorneys do the same thing. Okay. Now, a package on the other end is completely different. A package is you define, right? You define what is delivered. So a package is a specific list of tasks for a specific price. So that's a big difference. Retainers are just a bucket of hours that clients can use however they want to. And you can basically take your, whatever your rate is, so it's $40 an hour, you know, your, your retainer package for 10 hours is $400. You can actually discount your rates if you want, like I said. And the more hours you buy, the lower the rate would be because you're buying a bigger bulk. That's a retainer. Packages have a specific list of things that you're going to deliver for a specific price. In other words, you control what you're going to do with that package. So a package would be something like a build a website. So if you're going to build a website, I don't recommend doing that on a retainer. 
No, because you're not being paid hourly for that. You're really being paid for your expertise. You can control what happens and you can create packages around that. So you could have a starter package is $500 and you spell out exactly what someone's going to get for a package. You could do a, you know, a silver package, which has more items in it. So a package is very spelled out as to what is being delivered and you can package any expertise. I actually have a free video on my website that talks about how to package your expertise. Feel free to stop by at the Techie Mentor and check out under freebies. There'll be a section for business training. Take a look at it there. It's a great video and it will really help you understand how you can package. Packages are a great way to go because then you get away from that bucket of hours. And with packages, you don't have to track your time because your clients know exactly what you're, they're going to get. Now, they can ask you where the time goes, but the issue with that is a lot of people don't understand what it takes to build a website. So they're not going to understand how long it takes. So by creating a package, you're saying, okay, I'm going to give you um, five pages. I'm going to give you a WordPress site with these plugins. So you're being very, very detailed as to what you're getting. Now, packages can work for any expertise, whether it's calendar management, building a website, um, implementing one shopping cart or, um, you know, Kajabi, whatever it is, you can package your expertise in so many different ways. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Remember a retainer bucket of hours, clients control, uh, basically how the hours are used a package. You define exactly what you're delivering for how much you control the outcome of the package. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you use retainers? Do you use packages? How are they used? Feel free to leave comments below, whether you're on my website or you're on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, head over to YouTube and be sure to subscribe as you'll get um, reminders when I put new stuff out. But I would definitely love to hear from you. Um, remember, this is Susan's take on what's a retainer and what's a package. But as I said, I think it's important to educate not only the VA world, but also the industry that we're working in, the online business world. So they understand when you talk about a retainer, what that is versus a package. And this way, it just keeps it clear and clean because there are so many blurred lines when it comes to definitions in the virtual world. So again, stop by my website, um, thetechiementor.com. You can find that free um, packaging video that will really help you. I'd love to hear any questions or comments. I will definitely be reading and responding. And I wish you a happy day. See you next week. Bye.